Good morning. So I just finished making a matcha. Y'all, I got this cute cup from Five Below. If you watched previous vlogs, I talked about when I got it. I actually showed y'all when I got it. But I just made a matcha and I recorded a video, which is why my makeup is done. I recorded a new in. So all of my new purchases recently, if you watch that, that should be up already. But today is Monday. It's the start of a new week. It's February 11th, I believe. And I'm going home this weekend for a Zeta luncheon. I have to find a shirt to wear to that, but... I also need to look in my closet too to see if I have a shirt, but I'm pretty sure that I don't have anything that I necessarily want to wear with the pants that I bought for it. So I need to figure out a top solution. I was thinking last night, I was watching a video by Evelyn of the internet and she was juicing. She made some beet juice, but with her blender and she used a cheesecloth to strain it. So I was thinking I kind of want to make like my own juices. I love the whole foods juices, don't get me wrong, but those things are $6.99 a bottle. It's like $6.99 for a 16 ounce bottle. And I was, after I saw Evelyn's video, I was like, I have a blender, I have a cheesecloth. I can be making my own juices for way less than what I spend on whole foods juices. So I think that's going to be one of our um, projects this week. We'll see. I'm debating whether or not I want to go to Aldi or Trader Joe's for like fruits and veggies. I'm debating it. We'll see. I have I have a little time to figure out if that's what I want to do. But just came to say hi. Hope you guys have been well. Um, oh, I spoke on a panel two days ago. Again, it's Monday. So on Saturday, I spoke on a panel at Revolt about like just my journey in the industry and what I do. Uh, which is kind of weird thinking back on it like looking back it's kind of weird to be talking about what I do and my journey because I remember being on the other side of that and listening to other people talk about their journey and what they do and wondering how I would get to that you know how I would get to the other side so it's kind of weird to be on the other side of that now and while it was happening moderator asked me you know about my journey so I started and the first question the very first question was well i kind of want to hear more about her story and she pointed at me and it just really caught me off guard because i was like wow like you want to hear more about my story what else is there to say <laughs> but it, it just really caught me off guard and i just want to say y'all that god is so good and that even though you know i i posted it on my story like a clip of the event and people were writing back to me and were like, um, congratulations on everything you've had going on recently. Like, I'm so proud of you. And in my mind, like, I just can't, like, it doesn't correlate. Like, it doesn't, I say thank you. Don't get me wrong. I do say thank you. But it's just like, in my mind, I'm like, you're proud of what? <laughs> because, and I'm not trying to sound ungrateful either. But I'm just like, proud of what? Because I know a part of it is like, they're talking about, um the tyler perry movie that i worked on last year but it just came out so in my mind like that was last year that was last spring actually we shot that in like march yeah it was like march so in my mind it's already done like so when but it just came out and people didn't know about it so when they see that i worked on it now they're like oh congratulations and i'm like about what and they're like the movie and i'm like oh thank you because to me it's been a year ago now like it's over and done for me but i'm still like appreciative and i think that's one of the things where there's kind of like a disconnect in the journey oh this will be a good podcast episode there is a disconnect in like what other people see and the actual journey itself so what other people see is like oh this movie just came out shakira worked on this movie oh shakira was on this panel like and for me it's like okay i worked on this movie i was depressed during that movie 
like don't get me wrong i was depressed during that movie not because of the movie i was depressed because of my circumstances which i've already told y'all about multiple times so i'm not gonna bog y'all down with that again but that was like during my period of being unemployed that job was my first job we shot that in march i had not worked prior to that job i had not worked since october 2022 that movie was march 2023 so from october 2022 to march 2023 i had not worked i was on unemployment and so for me that time was stressful for me that time was like okay like i'm so i'm so thankful for this movie i'm so thankful for this opportunity i'm so thankful for this paycheck but in the back of my mind i was also like okay what's next what's after this because this is a job at the end of the day. Like I have to pay my bills at the end of the day. So uh, I think other people see kind of like movies and stuff as entertainment and it is entertainment, but for us, it's a job. It's how we make ends meet, you know? So, but, but also I am proud of myself. And I think because of the circumstances that I was in at the moment, I didn't allow myself to be proud of where I was in the moment because I was just trying to survive. And when you're just trying to survive, you're not looking at, oh wow, I'm on a set with Kelly Rowland. Oh wow, I'm literally right here next to Tyler Perry watching him direct the film. Like, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, okay, this is how much I'm gonna make this week. This is how much I'm gonna make this week. Okay, after that, I wonder what's shooting like so you're not in the headspace of being present and appreciating where you are looking back i'm like you know it was a blessing to have that experience um but yeah it's just it, there's a disconnect in like the journey and what people see like for me a lot of this stuff has been years in the making <laughs> years in the making and i don't even feel like i actually i know i'm not where i want to be ultimately there is a end goal that I see so clearly and vividly in my mind. Like that Solange song when she's like, I saw things I imagined. One day I want to be able to say that and mean it and be so for real. Like being able to physically see what I have been imagining for all these years. So I didn't even mean to start this vlog like this, but thank you for watching. Just thank you. <laughs> Like Bob Saget, greedy, I can't pass it. And everything to get no fast, I don't care what you knew me. Okay, I think this is so cute. It's only ten dollars. And with that, that's a look. That's kind of a look. Okay, I'm just going to try this on because I feel like the silver on silver could be a moment. I'm going to try it though. We're going to see. So I think the skirt is cute in theory and it, cute, it looks cute in the front. But once you start turning around in this, it's actually kind of unflattering. So I think the skirt is a no. The top, I don't know, it's only $10, but at the same time, I don't know. Three things. One, I just got back from the store. I'm going to show you what I got. Two, I just watched a TikTok about the housing crisis that the United States is having right now. And it has me so hesitant about buying a home it makes me feel really good about having an apartment three i went to aldi and when i left the store i had an account in i had an encounter with um the cashier and after i had the encounter i went to my car and i immediately started playing gospel and then i said to myself i pray that no one ever has an encounter with me in their life and they have to go play gospel because the encounter with me was that bad. 
I said that to myself. Back to point one, I went to Aldi and I went to Marshalls. Marshalls didn't have what I was looking for. Then I went to TJ Maxx, which I knew that's where I needed to go anyway. Oh, I also went to Home Goods. But I had a feeling, something told me, God, that I should have went to TJ Maxx first because I got what I was looking for. This is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to make juices. So y'all know how I go to Whole Foods and I get their pressed juices. So one of them is called the Rise and Shine. Let me show you. It's this one. This one. This one. This one. It's called the Rise and Shine. And it has the ingredients on it. It's apples, mango, ginger, um, blase, blase, grapes. I want to make this because those bottles, this little bottle is what, 16 fluid ounces and it's $6.99. It could have gone up by now. Who knows? But I saw this YouTuber here. Her name is Evelyn of the Internet. I love her channel. She made some beet juice. And I was like, I have a blender. Because I always felt like, okay, in order for me to make a juice, like a fresh juice, then I need to have a juicer. But also, juicers were invented by a black woman, if you didn't know. But I was like, I need to have a juicer. But juicers are so expensive. But she made her juice in a blender. And she just used a cheesecloth. So I was like, I have a blender. I have a cheesecloth. I can do that. So I went to Aldi and got some pineapples, some apples, some grapes. And I didn't know if I should use red grapes or green grapes, but from tasting it, it's like a more of a sweet taste than a tangy taste. So I figure it's probably red grapes that they use. Uh, Dawn. So I got that. This is the last one on the shelf. I got a mango which is not all the way right but we're gonna use this whole one and then i got some ginger so we're gonna make a juice tonight we're gonna make juices tonight and because i want to make um quite a bit i went to tj maxx and got this juice uh container this is called the juice jar um so i got one of these i got a strainer just because i want to see how this does with like catching the pulp i have a cheesecloth but it can just be like messy to clean up so i want to see what the strainer is like and then i also got a ice cube tray like so cute one too and i got the one with the lid because i saw this lady on tiktok because i like fell down a rabbit hole and she said she takes the pulp that she strains and then she freezes it as ice cubes and use the ice cubes in the juice so i was like i can do that so we're gonna do that tonight okay so i have my blender out i have already separate i think i'm gonna use three apples i don't know if i should use two or three but i think i'm gonna use three because once you start chopping it up like it's not gonna be that much i don't think i have my pineapple i already rinsed my grapes and then i cut the mango so these are the mango pieces and then that is ginger. So this little thing right here is ginger. I already peeled it. Got the peels over there. So we are going to make it happen. I'm also going to use some water. I don't want to. I think I'm just going to use this deer park. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm kind of excited. My money, my body, now your own. so it, it's done i mixed everything all of the ingredients but i just got scared because what if it does not taste like it we're gonna see um we're gonna we're about to see so i need a funnel i have a funnel where is my funnel oh so here's my funnel what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my funnel i wash my juice container i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna use the strainer on top pour it in and hopefully the strainer catches most of the pulp we're gonna see together oh i'm scared i'm like what if i didn't put enough ginger because i don't really smell the ginger like that i didn't want to use too much we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see at least like 
making it one time, I'll be able to see what I need to tweak, I think. So the juice is done. I'm not gonna lie, it does look like the Rise and Shine in Whole Foods, but here's a little bit because I was like, I wanna taste it and see. And granted, it's not gonna be cold because in Whole Foods, when you taste this, okay, I'm just talking to try to not drink this, but okay, we're gonna see. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. It smells like it. It's the ginger, the ginger. Y'all, that's it. That's the rise and shine from Whole Foods. Wow, how many fluid ounces is this? I have no idea how many fluid ounces th this is. $6.99 in Whole Foods for one bottle when you can just buy the ingredients and make it yourself. This is so good, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Now I will say, it has a little less bite than the Whole Foods one, but I know why. It's because I think Whole Foods put a little bit more ginger in theirs which I can adjust because sometimes you just don't want all that ginger, you don't wanna be too spicy, but this is so good. Wow. Y'all know when people take the pictures with the, the club bottles like this, I'm gonna take a picture with my pressed juice. That is so good. I need to send my mama a picture because I told her I was making this. Oh, so now I'm going to make those ice cubes that I was telling y'all about, but I'll show y'all the after I finish. I'm not gonna show y'all the process because I think y'all are about to die. As promised, I wanted to show y'all the ice tray. I only had enough for nine cubes. So as you can see, it's like all of the pulp from the different um, fruits blended together. So I just scooped them out, put them in the tray. We are going to freeze them. And that way when we make our juice, we can pop an ice cube out, put it in the juice. When it melts, you know, it's gonna keep it cold, but when it melts, it's also gonna have like the pulp in it. Um, I just think that's gonna be so nice. In the morning before I go to work, I'm gonna make one. We are going to throw these away. These are the flowers that I had delivered to my job. They were so beautiful when I first got them and they were such a nice surprise. I have been like dragging my feet and throwing them away just because they made me so happy when I got them. But we're gonna trash these because um, tomorrow we're going to Florida. So. This needs to go in the trash before I go to Florida. Target this denim vest. I have Beezy's blue, white, and orange Nikes. They have like a little yellow accent and then my glasses. I love that song. Good morning, good people. I am packing the car. My hair looks, y'all, sometimes with natural hair, I just feel like on camera it doesn't look, it doesn't give what it's supposed to give. Like, in person, I really like it. On camera, not so much. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. It's like, in person, I'm like, oh wow, my hair looks great. And then when I look at it on the camera, I'm like, does it? Does it? Anywho, just recorded 
and outfit of the day that I actually have not recorded in a very long time. Y'all know I was on my 75 hard day challenge where for 75 days I was recording my outfits. I think I fell off around day 30 something. It was day 30 something and it was because I had stopped planning my outfits in advance and I found that when I planned them in advance it was easier for me to record them because I was excited about them but then when I wasn't planning I wasn't excited about my outfit so I didn't really want to record it anywho hopefully I can finish that out I do want to actually finish that I need to see what day I'm on now but I have my suitcase here in my little bag that I threw my chargers and like my toiletry bag everything last minute in here and we are going to go I got my blazer I don't know if y'all remember in a previous vlog I was saying I was going to take this to the tailor I remember that there's a sewing machine that my mom has so I'm going to see if she can stitch it instead of me taking it and having to pay for it also I need to grab my work stuff I'm starting this book it's called The Artist's Way. Um, somebody saw me with this book yesterday and they said that they've read it several times and that it's a good read. So I'm gonna start today because I also started a reading pact. I started a reading pact with someone where we're going to read for an hour a day. That's our task. Both of us, we said what book we're starting with. I'm starting with this one. They're starting with their book. And for an hour a day, we're gonna read. Oh, let me turn the speaker off. Because last time I went home, y'all may remember, I don't know if I actually was vlogging though. Um, last time I went home, I ended up having to come back here and pack. But I packed early this time. I packed last night. And I don't think I have anything in the fridge. I could take those pineapples. Um, yeah. I packed last night so that when I get off, I can just hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. And then we'll be in Tallahassee. Remember the entryway? It looks nice still. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I just got a package. Um, and I was actually gonna get I was actually gonna get on the road right after work, but it's like I've been off for like an hour. But I got a text that said check my mail before I leave. What is this? Harry Potter playing card box set. Okay, we'll look at that once we get, um, we'll look at that more once we get to Tallahassee. But now we need to get on the road. Y'all, we just took some pictures outside of a, what is this, a dentistry. <laughs> we just left the Zeta luncheon. It was nice, right? Correct. Always. Nice. Yeah, it was always nice. It was really nice. So we're about to go to Tropical Smoothie because my niece was like, don't forget my smoothie. And she's watching her nephew. Um, not her nephew. Her brother. My nephew. Her brother. So we just took some pictures and now we're about to get in the car, go to Tropical Smoothie, and then we're heading home. Yeah? Right? Okay. Okay. If you know you could bet that never gotta sweat that. 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 Okay, this looks so good. I don't know if y'all can see the detail on this, but this is so cute. So I found out that it's an early birthday gift. I was like, what is this for? So it's an early birthday gift. Um, cute! It's like playing cards. I'm gonna show y'all the inside too. 